Good morning, happy Monday. I'm about to do a farm walk. I did a video on how I do farm walks a little over a year ago and a lot has changed since then and how I run the farm, how I do farm walks, how I keep track of the types of things that I need to, that I need to do. That was hard to say. Um, so I figured I would do a little bit of an updated one. So um, I'm going to go through the farm. I will kind of explain what I'm doing and the types of things that I'm going to be writing down on my list. And then hopefully after that, I'll be able to show you what I do with that information so that I'm able to implement the things that need to be done in the future. That being said, let's get going. All right, first things first, I'm gonna start on this side of the farm, which is the big open gravel pit, um, which has the pumpkins behind it, the bed that used to be the garlic. I'm just gonna walk on through and start looking at things. Um, but I wanted to let you know what I kind of use to take notes. So I just use the notes app on my phone, um, the normal one that comes with the iPhone. Um, and I'll be showing you later what I transfer those to, but that tends to be the easiest way for me to just kind of really quickly jot down row by row, bed by bed, crop by crop, what needs to be taken care of. So as we come to the pumpkins, I realized the other day that there are definitely squash bugs on there, which is super unfortunate because we don't even have any fruit on there yet so i really don't know how the pumpkins are going to do this year um if you guys have been following me for a while you might know that this was a little bit of an experimental way to plant them so we might not really be getting much in the way of pumpkins um but i'm going to write down in my notes because i saw the squash bugs uh, I'm just going to write down, take care of squash bug. Ooh, that one's got a lot of stuff on there. Um, and that way I'll know later that that is something I need to figure out what to, how to remedy. The very next spot that I come to was the old kohlrabi bed, and I tried to tarp it recently, so I'm going to make a note that says either fix tarp or add larger tarp. I had Matt mow this down for me, so it should be nice and easy to do so. Coming up to the compost bins, I need to turn the compost. So I need to move that bin over there and that bin over there and then start adding new stuff over here. So I'm going to write turn compost in my list. Now some of you who have been watching me for a little bit know that I've been having a lot of trouble with tomatoes mainly because I'm pretty sure I have tomato fruit worm which has been knocking all of the fruits off before they can ripen. And so I'm just going to do a really quick uh, peek at everything to see if it looks like that problem is still occurring, um, and then make notes accordingly. I actually have a lot of fruit on here, which could mean that the worm has stopped knocking all of the fruit off, or it could mean that it's just waiting to pick it again. So I'm gonna say it's probably good for now, but in my notes, I'm going to add a note that I need to apply another round of neem because it has been close to a week and we had a really hard rainstorm last night. So apply another round of neem oil. Need to pull the weeds in the beans because you can't even see them. Pull the big weeds along the tomato pathway. Weed the basil jungle and probably the row next to the bean or the what are those? <laughs> Peppers as well. Now there's some stuff that's major projects that I just don't have time to get to anytime soon and I don't want to bog down my list with things that I realistically know I won't be able to get to. So there's a crazy patch back there full of thistles that badly need to get out but they aren't number one priority. So I'm not gonna add things like that to my list because those are on my bigger project lists. Um, the farm walk is more of a weekly thing so it's more of a what needs to get done really quickly, what pest problems could potentially completely destroy a crop if I don't take care of them, that sort of thing. One thing that was already on my list to do today was to check the carrots. And if you guys have been following me this past week, I put in a bed of carrots and tried this new method where I cover them and water them until they germinate. So I'm gonna take a peek and see if I can see anything germinating yet. I think I have to pull this off today. Check the ground cherries for any ripe ones and see if they're actually staying on the tarp or falling down like they're supposed to. Prune the zucchini so that the big leaves are not touching the ground anymore. And weed this crazy walking path next to the black beans. I already sprinkled the slug killer next to the squash so we're good there, but leave me a comment down below if you would like to see uh, a video on the reasons why I leave really weedy walking paths on certain crops. This was the bed of salad turnips that I just harvested last week, so I'm going to add 
take out all of the stuff <laughs> from that to my I'll list. I'll also be harvesting this garlic to my list. You can't even see the garlic in here because there's so much grass and weeds, it's crazy, but this needs to be harvested ASAP. I actually planned on harvesting it today, but we had a crazy rainstorm, like I said last night, and you can't really harvest garlic when it's wet. It can damage it, it can lead to rotting. I don't really understand it, honestly, but you're not supposed to harvest it when it's wet. So I'm gonna put that on the list so that I do it on a later day this week when it's dry. This crazy mess needs to be tarped ASAP. So I have radishes right here. Those will be out in a week. And then I have radishes and some other stuff back there. That'll be out relatively soon. Um, and then this whole block will need to be replanted. So I need to get that tarped since I'm a little bit behind. This block doesn't actually look too bad, although there are a lot of weeds coming up in there. So I might add weeding the lettuce to the list because that is kind of important. Um, and then this stuff should be germinating soon. So I might check on that in a little bit. Otherwise, the only other thing I need to do is clear out these like one, two, three, four beds. Um, oh wait, five, there's another one back there. Clearing out these five beds and building them up so that I can actually plant stuff in them this coming week. The final thing I added to the list was for this last block of salad mix was to actually plant a bed of radishes in them. I have been selling them consistently to the coffee shop and so um, since they're a 30 day in and out crop I'm trying to plant them every two weeks so I just have a constant rotation of them. All right so that was actually the field portion of the farm walk. I'm gonna go get some farming done and later on today I will show you how I input all of that information into my Trello list. If you don't know what Trello is Hang on tight, you're gonna find out. All right, I'm sitting in the shade next to the truck, next to my sweet Bubba, and I am going to um, kind of walk you through how I, like I said, input this into another app, but it's also something I use on my computer, and it's fantastic and free, and it's called Trello. So I actually heard about Trello from another YouTuber, I believe, and it has changed my life. Um, also, I wish, but they are not sponsoring me to say this. Absolutely no one has paid me a cent ever in the history of the universe. So, this is literally my opinion. Um, let's go to Trello. Um, I already have an account, but you have to set one up, obviously. Um, and so I'm just gonna go over here and click on Sydney's board. And it comes up with all of these different cards. So each of these cards I created, and if I scroll on over, um, there's a option to add another list. And that would just bring up another blank one of these individual cards. Um, or I guess they're called lists, but e either way brings up another one of those. Um, so like for farm, I have all these different things that I want to do. And when I'm finished with them, like for example, I already finished the form new beds. I can double click and it brings up this little option to like edit it or move it somewhere else or whatever, but I'm going to choose to archive it because I'm done with that task. Another cool thing that I do is I have my farm employees payment schedule. So for each of my employees, I kind of just input um, how many hours they've worked on, on what date, and then I'm able to make a checklist and check off when I've completed it or paid them or not. Um, so let me show you an example of a checklist. So if I go into drip, now if I just wrote do drip irrigation, that's technically what needs what needed to be done back when I put this in here, but that is a little bit too broad. Um, it's not really a super actionable step. So what I do is I just write something broad and then within that I make a checklist. And so this is all the different things that I actually needed to do within that and they're a little bit more um, specific and actionable, like I said. So the cool thing about the checklist is that it'll give you like a percentage of how finished it is. Um, and so, for example, I actually already finished or no, I didn't finish those, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to cross them off for the sake of this video. I did do the splitter head and the salad zones. Um, I did replace the bad tape and the beads. And I didn't zip tie it, but I ended up fixing the end caps. Um, and that is also done. So that's kind of how you, sorry, I had a bug on my face. That's kind of how you can um, keep track of, like I said, more actionable tasks, which is really nice. There's also all sorts of cool stuff that you can use. I don't really use like the due date thing or the labels, but if you really wanted to get crazy organized with it, you definitely could. So what I like to do now is sit down with my list that I put in my phone and I'm just going to add it to my Trello list. So some of these things will just be as simple as 
making a single card that just says weed the basil. Um, but then some of them are a little bit more broad. So I might make a card that says take care of squash bug issue. And again, take care of is, is way too broad for me. So within that take care of uh, item, I'm going to go in and then add a checklist and I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. All right, so within my farm list, I have all these different cards now that are literally just all the things that I you already saw me make on my farm walk. And so I'm gonna show you an example, but what I usually do is just go through each and every one of these and say, is that in and of itself a task that I can complete or do I need to break it down into something smaller? So for example, the pumpkins squash bug situation, um, I'm gonna go over here and click checklist and it gives you an option to label it, but I'm just gonna keep it labeled checklist. And we are going to add an item. I try to make this um, a, a relatively simple task, make each one very, very, like I keep saying, actionable, something that I can just go and do. It doesn't take a lot of thought um, as far as like how to start the process of doing this thing. All right, so now I have these three things. This is what I am going to have to click each of these as complete um, in order for pumpkin squash bug to be completed. And so once I've completed all of these, um, the actual card within the list, oops, um, instead of zero out of three, it'll say three out of three and it'll be lit up green. Um, and so once that's completed, I will go ahead and archive this whole card because it'll be completed. Um, so now I'm just going to go through all of these and uh, just add all of the different checklists that need to be added so that I have a very actionable week ahead of me. All right, that was actually super quick. A lot of these were pretty actionable in and of themselves. I added um, some individual steps for quite a few things. Um, the reason being, A, it makes it a lot easier to see, all right, what actually do I need to do right now? Because a lot of times I am not super, super motivated the second I get out here. I love my job overall. I love what I have to do. I'm very motivated to do this as a whole. But um, when I step out into the field, a lot of times it's really hard to think through, what is the first step? Like, where, where do I walk? What do I grab? What do I do? And so having an individual thing, for example, um, I'll give you just another example really quick. Um, I have to pull the salad turnip bed because I, I finished with all the salad turnips and now it's just an empty bed. Um, but when I get out here and see, okay, I need to pull the salad turnip bed, I can, I can walk up to the bed and look at it and just think, okay, now what? But now I have in this list very specific things within this card. Um, first step, pull the hoops. So literally when I get here, I can just look at it and be like, oh yeah, that's the first thing I need to do. I just walk and grab and take them to where they need to go. Easy peasy, check it off the list. And then my brain gets that instant reward of getting to check something off a list, which is also super helpful. Um, and then so on and so forth. They have all the different like steps of that uh, specific task laid out for me so that it's really, really way too simple to do. You can't mess it up um, other than just like choosing not to do it. But that is how I input things into Trello. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for walk watching along. Words are hard. Uh, I'm gonna get out here and actually get some stuff done now, but uh, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and go grow something.